So hello guys, it's Kevin again and welcome back to another Woodland Camera Craft live group chat. So I think we've got a, a good chat for you tonight, there's loads of topics, got some awesome special guests, some of my good friends who are coming on later. Um, so yeah, let's catch up with a few people in the side chat, who have we got? We've got Yorbic Outdoors, Craig Betts, Wild Ginger Bruce, uh, Wild Camping Magazine, Borderline Wild Camping, uh, who else we got? Uh, da, 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 da. Sorry, I'm still bunged up. Uh, Andrew Forrest, uh, Libro Four, Wild Herb. Uh, I'm glad everyone. Another side chat's been going mad already. DT, good evening. Uh, Mike Ginger Bushcraft, SG Outdoors. Hello, hello, Anna Rambo, uh, Michael Sanderson. Welcome everybody. We've got 22 already. That is fantastic. That is fantastic. So yeah, welcome to the chat. Oh, I hope everyone liked the chat last week. Um, I, I got a notification off YouTube that stated uh, that was the fastest I've ever earned um, that amount of uh, likes on one video. I think we've got um, 33 likes in 24 hours and um, I think the video is just just under 200 views, which is absolutely awesome. Um, so I'm hoping that the new uh, style of chat, uh, segmented chat, went down well. And we're gonna uh, we're gonna that's what that's the theme. That's what we're gonna go with from now. So uh, uh, Crispy Carpa, Zal uh, Harriman, and Karen Price. Good evening to you all as well. So as we started off last week with the sub count. Um, there's been a few things going on at YouTube today, what we're going to talk about with uh, the special guests in a little bit. Um, but the subs have jumped up. A massive thank you to everyone that's been sharing the chat uh, and subscribing through social media. I've got in a bit of a panic about reaching uh, certain thresholds, which, like I say, we're going to talk about later. So thanks to everyone that's chipped in, supporting uh, the chat. But like I say, I know it's on my channel, but it's not my chat. This is our chat. My videos of my camping, that's my baby. The, the Facebook group and these live chats are there for all of us. So, yeah, the sub count has jumped up to 872, which is very impressive. Um, so, I'd like I say, thank you guys for that. Uh, then I'm going to no, um, go on to the next segment, which is the, uh, a smaller channel recommendation. So, I'm going to recommend this week Dog Soldier. Uh, he often comes in the chat. Uh, in the side chat there, in the tech side chat, but he's, uh, he's got a very interesting camp build going on, uh, camper van build going on on his channel at the minute, um, which is like a new little mini series he's doing. Uh, he goes out, he does lots of camping. Um, he's also a very, very, very generous person. Um, you know, we over at the MTFU there, we did a fundraiser before where almost all the crafty people was making crafts to um, raise money for the. Uh, um, help for heroes campaign, you know, the soldiers, uh, and he just donated a whopping hundred pound once uh, to get us going. Um, you know, people like Ferg's had the bum tattooed and everything else, so yeah, uh, a very, very good, decent guy, very generous, and yeah, channel of the week goes out to a uh, to dog soldier. Um, let me just catch up with a few more people. This is going to be the as the chats are getting more popular, it's getting harder to keep up the side chat. So, I've got a mental note to try and keep up. Josh Abbey, welcome to the chat. Uh, Cornish Knives and Campion, and Iron Mike, welcome to the chat, buddy. Uh, and I think that's it. I'm glad everyone's just talking at the, the side chat for a minute. Uh, Paul says, I is a top bloke. Um, yeah, so now video of the week. Uh, video of the week is going to go out to doing bushcraft and his video is is a uh, great northern bushcraft conference edl 2017 video now most of you know my connection with like the sort of the bushcraft show the crag office thing where you know i, I sometimes go in with the crag office team and i was oohing and are in about whether i should do a bushcraft show eday or if it happened to fall on the same dates but watching jay's video the other day um yeah, he just sold it. And I, and I mean, a lot of it was the weather. I know you can't guarantee the weather, but it was beautiful, you know, everyone up in the streams and, uh, you know, cooling down, going for a walk. And 
to be fair, I mean, I've got a lot, a lot of friends who go to EDL, but it was the first real video of EDL I've watched, mainly because, I don't know, you know, I try and watch all my friends' videos, but I just hadn't got around to uh, watching it because, I don't know, maybe I didn't want to be, what's the word? I don't know, maybe I didn't want it to sell itself to me, if that made sense, because I was, I was pretty happy with the Bushco show, but yeah, it's proper, uh, sold me on the idea, so thanks, Jay, uh, hopefully... You can get your little ass back up there and you know a little bit of people to play with and everything but um yeah it was uh it was a good video very nice chilled out event i like the way it was la la laid out um it was uh it was all good so yeah for me this year and it's part of the, the, the section of the news i'll get on to but yeah edale so um i can't wait i can't wait and thanks to jay for an awesome video um we've got dan dan man stuff tv you've missed and albion camping paul mesner uh i think it's fe power so rob gilchrist uh 30 viewers oh that's amazing that is amazing so um yeah that takes us past that little segment there so shout outs shout outs for the week um Shout out again. I, I gave him a shout out last week, funny enough, but uh, I'm going to give him a shout out again and I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, uh, it's Sean James for My Self Reliance. Um, one, it's just had a, a video go mega viral all over the internet. Um, and he started off by posting videos in the Facebook group, um, which, you know, I think at the time there was a, a thousand members that, you know, might have helped him. On his journey but it's just been picked up by the news channels over in canada and in america so he's got yeah he's got a video that's gone viral it's his um time lapse uh, uh log cabin build obviously he built it by hand he built it with all hand tools and yeah it's just it's just blow up the video just blow up and even this you know when a youtuber from our community which is not the the, the biggest community you're not like tens of millions of subscribers for the for the top for the top youtubers to get picked up and get put on uh, you know the news i think that's massive also shout out today we'll go to uh uh steve also known as wild camps or i think he's in the chat as wild camps magazine i think it's your birthday tomorrow buddy so happy birthday tomorrow steve uh, i know he's staying up late to watch the chat and this is the first time you're catching us live so thanks for joining us pal uh yorks wonder if ben is in the house ken allen as well nice one favorite viewers uh, we're rocking on so now i'm going to get onto the news i'm just going to read a couple of stories and then i'm going to bring our guests in uh so firstly um uh obviously i've just mentioned steve from the wild company magazine that magazine uh, uh had launched and i think it's going to be uh a really good success uh, i've read through most of it um it's i think i mentioned last week it's a online magazine where you can download uh for free um, great stories obviously uh gareth and Zoe was in the first issue uh it launched 11 4 12 uh, last week but yeah good articles as long as uh, we keep keeping up with all the um you know all the nice spots all the latest kit Maybe some comparisons on kit, you know, for people, trusted people out in the community. But yeah, so that was in the news. Massive, massive congrats to him. And uh, yeah, look forward to uh, look forward to part two. Or what else have we got? Right, yeah, I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring our guests in now, so I can just see them having a stretch. <laughs> you like can't see. I'm gonna bring them in, and then we're gonna talk a bit more about the news that's going on. Hello, can you, hear me? can you hear me? Can you hear you loud and clear? So everybody, big thanks to Gareth and Zoe from Gareth and Zoe Wildcamps. They are joining us today. Yeah. Hello, Kev, and he hello everyone in the side chat. Hi, hope, everybody. Hope you're well. Just drinking a glass of wine. Is there a link to the magazine? Uh, yeah, one of my guys with my spanners, uh, pop a link in the chat to the uh, Wild Camping magazine. I think that's uh, a good point. Uh, Ed, Mac Tightwood. 
Uh, good evening to you. Um, so, news, Gareth. We've got one story here, which was the Hawaii incident. Now, I particularly want to want to hear from any preppers uh, in the side chat about this one. So, if people haven't heard, obviously, uh, on Saturday morning, I think it was, Hawaii got a, a text message, uh, all, the, all the citizens in Hawaii, which, and I've written it down, I'll read it out. It says, emergency alert, ballistic missile threat inbound to Hawaii. Seek immediate shelter. This is not a drill. Now, I just giggled then because I shouldn't, but I seen on the news the people got in a right state, a massive panic. I think it was about 40 minutes before the government turned around and said it was a, an accident. Um, uh, and people was panicked. There was, there was parents pushing the kids down drains, you know, concrete sewers and covering them up and... They really did, um, you know, get freaked out. Uh, did you see that in the news, Gareth? Or did you hear me talking about it? Or? Um, Zoe was telling me about it, yeah. Yeah, I did. I read it. And it was all a mistake, wasn't it? Because of the interface on the computer and the drop down menu. They, um, yeah. Yeah, they, they said that they had the word test and on the first one. And then on the second one, they didn't. And he clicked the wrong one and then sent out the message. But then the interface didn't allow him to send out a cancel or a change that it's a mistake for 35 minutes, which is a really long time, isn't it? Sounds like the sort of text I would send, to be honest. But, yeah, it's uh, quite funny. I think they'll be changing the interface on the computer next time. I bet it was an Irish computer. To me, it shows you what a better class of people that the Hawaiians may have been. Because I think if that was if that happened in in England, say the bloody the looters would be out. All the shops in in thirty eight minutes, so the, there would have been nothing left in the shops. They would have been ransacked. The supermarkets would have been empty. All the all the high end um, computer shops and you know uh, television shops and everything they would have been ransacked and emptied. <laughs> Yeah. There were some people that said were really scared and they wouldn't like leave the house or anything, even when the cancellation message had come through, had they? Because they just weren't sure it was true. <laughs> yeah, I, think if we, I think if we got that, we'd be like, right, pack of bags, out camping. Yeah. Get, get, get one last wild camping. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. If it was me, I, I would have been in one of the, I said before, I would have been in the one of the Tahiti bars. But listen to what I'm saying carefully here, Tahiti bars, right? <laughs> I would have been swinging cocktails and just, <laughs> I would have been having a good old night. <laughs> so, so what time of day was this, Kev? Was this in the middle of the night or was it like in the morning or something? I think it was Saturday morning for them. Morning. Yeah, for them. So, I, I would have been in the bar. Yeah. I, I, said, I said to you guys personally, I said I, I would have been, I'd have been looking over my shoulder in 18 years because I would have been on a mission just to go out and, uh, <laughs> yeah, enjoy, enjoy my last moments on the, on the earth. <laughs> if, if, they have, if they ever do get a nuke now, they're like, nah, it's just one of those things. Oh, they'll wait 35 minutes <laughs> before the move. Yeah, it's just <laughs> a direct. A really valid point. They'll be like, not again, whatever. Yeah. And then, then, then rocket blast through the sky. So, like I said, any any sort of people that's into prepping in the side chat, what, what, if you, if you had got that text message on your phone, would that have been it? Would you have been down the bunker? Would you have been in your bug out vehicle at your bug out location? Would that have been it? Would that have been enough for you to go? And I mean, like near on forty minutes, they didn't know. I'm waiting for you, Mr. Prep Nomad. Uh, oh, Gary, RJ outdoors. There were there were lots of hotels evacuated to fields. They just didn't know what to do. I couldn't. Um. Uh, should it be a thing that the uh, the government? You know, if, if, if people didn't know how to react, should it be the case that the government need to set in line drills, you know, what, what people should be doing? Um, hey, what, what's wrong where Steve mean Wild Camping Magazine rob the place? Yeah, rob, Baileys. Rob the place of Baileys. <laughs> <laughs> rob the place of Baileys. If them two had been drinking in there, they wouldn't have had any left anyway. <laughs> uh, I'd go to the pub, says DT, yeah. It would happen on what your plan are you bugging in or out? Uh, Paul says, I'm not a preppy. Yeah, yeah, you're not a prepper, but you are quite prepared for. Yeah, you're prepared. I mean, every no, I want your opinion, Paul. You're the closest thing for one of my friends to being prepared. What, you know? 
I'd be robbing go outdoors, I want. Of all the places. <laughs> Could have picked somewhere a bit more classier, Dan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mac it's quite 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 yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. Do you think you'd have time to dig yeah. a bunker? Maybe if you had a JCB. Yeah. Yeah, but if I, if I knew if I knew it was a big nuclear one, I've always said uh, there's no point trying to escape it for me. I'd take Lily up to the highest mountain and just wait, wait for the flash. You know, I'd rather it be over and done with then than living in some sort of nuclear fallout. Oh, that reminds me of that film. What's that film where they just go, there's something happening, like the end of the world, and they go up to um, this mad bloke in his camper van just goes up to the top of a mountain, and he just sits there. Oh, is it 2012? Yeah, yeah, that's it, yeah. That's me all over. Yeah. That was cute yeah. to talk. <laughs> Uh, yeah, hide under DD top. <laughs> oh, Paul Mesner, yeah, hide under DD top. That's right. They're bomb proof. Have, have, have you told John Carlyle that? <laughs> I'll choose an army basher over a DD and a nuclear uh, holocaust. Oh, look at Paul. Look. I'd probably drive to my parents to see them if I'd not seen the news. I wouldn't tell them, just enjoy the rest of my time. Uh, yeah, nice, nice sentiment for that, Paul. Well, you wouldn't get camping first, Paul. I would. Uh, do you want to, There's a comment there from uh, from Mike Mike Bright, calling us nice and camping. Do you want to read that one out, Gareth or, or Zoe? Oh, that one there. Go on, Zoe. Yeah, I think the TV's too far away for Zoe to read it. <laughs> <laughs> it's on there. <laughs> Yeah, we have in the chat that um, they've got five screens. They're, they're, they've got a full big setup and they've got five screens. <laughs> we ain't got no three screens. Three. Oh, I thought you, three. Said, I thought you said five earlier. No, we've got. We got you did because you were counting the nights. You said five to count. Oh, yeah, we've got five <laughs> screens up on a on a 50 inch display up there. All right. We've got computer computer monitor next to me, which is running the software. Laptop, yeah, laptop down there for Zoe side chat, and you're on there looking all beautiful and all that. Oh, thanks. By the way, we've just broke all records for chat viewers whilst we're on air, which is cool. Very nice. That's good. So we're breaking records tonight. We're breaking records. Yeah, can uh, can everyone in the side chat, if you if you've not done it already, just stick a thumbs up on Kev's video and subscribe if you're coming back next week for. Uh, for more, more of Kev's good looks. Yeah, <laughs> do it. It's this, it's this that sells the chats, like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, give him a sub, give him a thumbs up. Want, want to see him going up. Yeah, 22 now. Cool. 100% uh, agree, it's better to go quick. Um, I'll, I'll, read, uh, I'll, I'll read Mike's out then. We had a warning alarm in our town for 45 minutes last month. We live near a Navy dockyard. People were panicking and Facebook went mad. The government apologised that day. He's saying it was a computer bug. <laughs> so it's not even just a one-off then. It seems to be happening a fair bit. I think it's just the people in the government having a bit of a laugh. You would though, wouldn't you? If you're in that department. I know. I'll give a bit of a bastard. Oh, sorry, Jay. <laughs> I just swore. Sorry. You just swore. You have to well, put well, a Lower the tone. That's that's a quid in the square jar. <laughs> the word day camp's not allowed either. Yeah. The word day camp, no. Uh, well, you wouldn't need to worry about speeding, no. Nope. Uh, evening, Craig. Glad to see you in the chat, dude. Where? Oh, Craig Fordham, be good, be good pal. Evening, Craig. Just hit forty viewers, by the way, guys. Um. Maybe they knew something we don't. Yeah, like you say, though, I would. I'd, I'd be walking past that button, and every time I'd walk past that button, I'd press it just for a laugh. <laughs> it could never get boring. <laughs> never. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. But if, if it did seriously happen, uh, chances are it's going to bomb London first, isn't it? So, oh, yeah. I, I think, think I think I think if one bombed London, we'd be pretty, well, reasonably safe 
out of the blast zone. I'll, I'll just go up to the top of Scotland somewhere where there's the least amount of population and just go there because they're never going to bomb a remote area, are they? It's just not worth the money. No. Never. No. Uh, you want me? Yep, sorry. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Over. Oh, but, right, if, in case you haven't noticed, we've got a bit of a, a, bit of a lag going on, and we do apologise for that. It's something that we, we just can't, no matter what we've done, it, it's just living in Lincolnshire, both of us, the, the, uh, the structure there for the internet is just not good enough for us to uh, uh, get any better than that at the minute. You know, we're all, we're all trying. Yeah we're, 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 yeah, we're still on dial-up in Lincolnshire. <laughs> Might as well be. Uh, Julie Liddell as well, new name to the chat, and uh, that other one I was saying, let me go, Jonathan Butler. Oh, Julie. Yeah, hi, Julie. Hi, Julie. Yeah, we, we know Julie. You're all right. Hey, Julie. <laughs> yeah, hit that like button. Oh, that okay. One. I can talk about any as well. Uh, live near Leeds. Welcome as well to the to the side chat and to the live chat. Best of guys and girls. Oh, Cassie, yes. Yeah, sorry, Cassie ne lives near Leeds. Yeah. We well, best get out, Cassie, because I hear they're going to bomb it soon. <laughs> but hi, anyway. Thanks for coming on. All right, Ed. Ed makes a good point. You guys, uh, there's no point going up Scotland. It will be taken off the map. There's a nuclear sub base there. It will be taken out first strike. So if you, in in Scotland, where's that? Oh no, <laughs> that's my plan. So that's that's your that, that's district. your bug out plan done. <laughs> It'll have to be the Lake District, I think. Yeah. yeah. Right. Now we're going to get onto the touchy stuff. I think, mm -hmm. which is most of most of the people in this side chat, apart from uh, a few of the big, bigger channels, we all woke up this morning to emails to tell us that YouTube are making changes. Gareth, what are the changes? Um, right. How's that so the new YouTube AdSense. A program for YouTube which is where you make money on adverts when you you upload a video and the adverts are displayed and you get a cut of that advert revenue um, well it used to be the case that if you had 10,000 channel views or above you'd be eligible for it but they've just put the bar up now it's now you need at least 1,000 subscribers on your YouTube channel and Watch time hours. Watch time hours, yeah, which basically equates to, say if you did a one 30-minute video a week, you would need 160 people to view that video all the way through. You'd need to do one video a week with 160 views to be eligible for earning money on YouTube now. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's kicked up a bit of a, um, a poo storm in, in the land of YouTube, really. It's, uh, but they're, they're justifying it, aren't they? Because YouTube are saying that 99% of people under that ratio would only be earning about less than £70 a year anyway. So as they think they're not really affecting people because they're not earning much money. And um, a lot of people are sort of saying, that, uh, look, this is how YouTube treats us, they're treating us like a piece of stuff like that. But in reality, YouTube have had their backs put up against the wall. Um, it's the advertisers that are saying to YouTube, look, you need to do something about these new channels that are popping up. They're promoting un like things to do with children that there shouldn't be, violence, blood, that sort of thing. And, and the advertisers are basically saying, if you don't do anything about it, we're going to pull our revenue from the platform. And... Um, it's, it's the advertisers that support YouTube. The reason re YouTube runs in the first place is because all these advertisers are putting money into it. And that's what get, gets distributed um, on people's videos and then people get a cut of that. And um, so it's based, it's YouTube's idea is to weed out all the channels that are likely to be posting unsavory content. So their sort of argument is if you're well established on YouTube and you're serious about promoting your channel, chances are you're not into terrorism and, and stuff like that. And um, they do say that 99% of creators creators that are affected um, are making less than £70 a year. Um, so in reality, it's not going to affect anybody's livelihood. They're not going to earn a living from it. It would just be sort of a bit of pocket money and stuff like that. Um, 
But on the other hand, it is unfair for creators like Kev, who's very near to the threshold, who who does put a lot of effort into his channel. Um, we've been working with Kev a lot recently, and we can definitely see how much he's putting into his channel, and he's, he's serious about making it work. And it's unfair they've taken that off Kev because he's literally 100, 125 subs away from being yes, over that threshold. Very close. Um, we so, just have to view it as a challenge to kind of keep going, isn't it? And just, just see it as a, a kind of a goal, isn't it, now to get to that point and work hard on your channels, I guess. Yeah, the CEO of YouTube, Susan, uh, what's her name, Watch Kiki, said YouTube has been making continuous updates to the platform in response to concerns. So it just goes to show that it's the advertisers putting the pressure on YouTube to do something about it. And if they don't, they're just going to pull the plug again and... Um, yeah, that's what else have we got? Uh, that, that's about Black Oats, yeah, I think. Sorry, go on. And I, any I, remaining balance that um, people have in their AdSense uh, accounts, YouTube, again, yeah, well, Google are going to pay out anyone's remaining balance that they've got in their AdSense if they don't qualify for the new YouTube partner program. But yeah, to some, um, anyone new. To making videos if you're thinking of starting a channel to earn money on youtube you've got to say if you posted one video a week and the video was 30 minutes you've got to get 160 people watching each video you post each week or once a month and then sort of quadruple that um, and that obviously have a thousand subscribers and then you you're sort of eligible for but that basically sums up what's been what's been going on today but if you google on a uh, search on youtube there's loads of videos posted about and it's um it's made a lot of people angry to be honest so over to you it, Kev. it, it did me uh, and you know that earlier on i thought it was a little unfair because the threshold is just set in stone right so like i was saying i've got 260 videos on the channel I've been very fortunate that these live chats, most people come and stay for the... I know we've just put them up to 90 minutes now, but most people will come and stay for the full hour when there was an hour. And we've done the ad hoc chats, haven't we? There's been three hours, and there's been people sat in there for three hours. So I've been really lucky. Yeah, that's included. Um, but the thing was, there's... Well, I, it's so unfair because some somebody might just, like I said to you earlier, might catch a celebrity coming out of a nightclub uh, fall down a curb, bust a heel on some posh shoe, and then, you know, get, get 15 million hits on a video, Look, all the revenue that comes from that, all the subscribers that would come from that, and they've not worked. All they've done is just have one popular video that's blew them straight over the threshold. And, yeah, I've been working hard for two and a half years, 260 videos, hours upon hours and upon hours in editing studios you know editing the videos making thumbnails and everything and you know someone someone just fall on the feet that luckily you know that's what that's what peed me off it's not it just seemed a little unfair to me yeah i mean that's the thing a lot a lot of people are taking it personally because it the youtube have given given something to channels and then have kind of taken it away so it is kind of a bit of a kick in the teeth i can see the reasons behind it um but that doesn't make people feel better unfortunately and youtube's a business at the end of the day and if they get pressure from the people that pay their bills then they're just going to do whatever aren't they yeah i'm not saying it's fair i'm not saying it's fair and i'm not justifying it but i know it's what it is business and it's got to earn it's got to, it can't run at a loss it's got to earn money we understand that um but it, what, what's also, by the way, we just had up to 43 live viewers then. That's just smashed the record. I've even circled it on my uh, 43. It's amazing. We've gone up to 42. Um, yeah, la last month, many, well, you will know, um, um, some of my closer friends within the side chat, I got my first payment last month just in time for Christmas. Uh, most people, I don't know if they know how YouTube works, but when you reach your threshold limit, I think it's £60, they pay you, they pay you the money um, on the sort of, the 15th it was in your account so it was in my account 44 viewers by the way guys it was in my account and i was made up then i, that, I sort of classed myself as a proper youtuber then I've, I've been paid off youtube you know 
It was not a lot of money. It was £64.97, I think it was. But he bought the Christmas booze, do you know what I mean? He brought the biscuits and chockies and the, 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 the alcohol that I was going to consume at the Christmas meet and, and all that sort of stuff. And I, and I was like, yeah, I'm buzzing. I've made it. I'm a YouTuber. I'm, I've got paid. It took me two and a half years to get there. But, but then all of a sudden, now I'm like, God, I'm not a YouTuber again now. <laughs> Yeah, well, well, Kev, this is the thing I was saying to you earlier before we come online. You, you're a matter of 100-odd subs away, and you'll be back to where you was. So. Yeah. But the, the thing is with all that, if what, what you have to do with the new title laws, um, I've, I've automatically, on the 20th of February, I'll automa automatically be taken off the YouTube partner program. So I'll lose the tick, I'll lose the tick off my channel as well. You know what I mean? And then you have to go, then what happens is you have, you have to apply um, to be verified again. Uh, and that, they're saying that takes 30 days after the suspension, you know, you can apply. So you've lost another month there. Um, but not only that, already on the 9th of January on YouTube's website, they're saying applications, because people must have known this before we did, before we got that email, people must have been knowing, because they've been applying for the program. And they're already two to three weeks behind already. And, it, and the news only dropped today. And this is this is directly off YouTube's channel. But the other thing is as well, because I'm not going to be part of the partnership program now, I'm also going to lose some creator uh, privileges. So I'm not going to be able to do uh, end screens or the cards or anything like that from the creator studio, because basically I've stopped being a creator in the YouTube's eye in YouTube's eyes. So that sucks as well, you know, you've lost some privileges there. Do, do you really lose the ability to put end cards on? Yeah, end cards and uh, and this is this is not this is not hearsay. This is when you when you click learn more on YouTube's email, you got your send, this is what it said, you no longer uh can do end screens or cards. Yeah, it's um yeah, it sucks for a lot of people to be honest. Um but what, what happens if you hit that threshold before the 20th of February? Does that automatically put you back into the position you was in before? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I think it does. I think I'm up there. I don't think it will affect me. So like Zoe said earlier, that's my challenge now. Uh, I picked up 50 subs last month or in the last 28 days or just under 50. So if I can just try and double that with a little bit more, you know, I'm on, I'm on for not getting a... Uh, not, you know, not happening to me, sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm just going to take this minute while we pause just to uh, catch up. Uh, Future Shark, you made it, you made it. Uh, Dan Dan DT, uh, there is Vimo, says DT. Uh, £64 wouldn't call uh, Gareth and Zoe's Baileys. <laughs> what? What's uh, that? Sixty-five pound. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, might not... do, it might do for a night, Dan. Maybe a night. Yeah. See, Zoe drinks a lot, oh. so it gets expensive. Uh, Vidb closed down next month. Says Essex Plodder. Um, I think people are thinking that there, there needs to be a competitor, a rival well, platform. Well, Kev, this <laughs> this brings me on to the next point. <laughs> um, uh huh. Earlier this week, Amazon filed for patents and domain names for AmazonTube.com and OpenTube.com, uh, amongst them, some other names and things. Um, in the patent, they put that they wish to open a site that's like YouTube, where uploaders can share video content. Now, um, this might be in quite early stages. Then again, they might have put the work in beforehand and they're just applying for names at the minute. Um, but it comes as a bit of big news when YouTube's sort of upsetting a lot of people at the minute. So it could do some serious damage to YouTube and everyone sort of can appreciate how big Amazon is in the marketplace. Certainly with video as well, where Amazon Prime's concerned and everything. Um, so yeah, I think YouTube... Uh, obviously going to be a bit worried at the minute. There's always been this bit of a battle on between YouTube and Amazon. Um, Amazon is one of the major websites that you can't actually put direct links to in your videos on YouTube. So there's obviously a bit of competition between the two. Um, 
But this is the thing, who do you choose to go to? I mean, you, YouTube works really well for the viewer. I mean, the video is always play. You can watch anywhere in the world. It's easy to find the content that you want to watch. The quality is good most of the time. Um, it's dependable. Uh, it's dependable. <laughs> It, it, do you know what I mean? It just it just works for the viewer. I know it, it might upset a lot of creators, but as a viewer, it, it just works really well. And a lot of competitors like have come and gone over the years, haven't they? And YouTube's just always stuck around and been a market leader. Um, I mean, I, Amazon Tube or whatever you want to call it might be a really good platform, but if you think about it, it's going to have the same problems as YouTube has had. Um, it's it's going to have the copyright issues. It's going to have the AdSense revenue issues. Our advertisers all their eggs into Amazon because at the end of the day, it might flop. You don't know. So yeah. I think all the all the problems that YouTube have had to address, it's it's going to be the same for any other platform. That's it's just logical that it would. I mean, it might be worse than YouTube, but. And then you've also got the so your audience, haven't you? So your audience won't know which way to go, whether they're going to stick with YouTube or go to Amazon Tube or and I mean a split audience might cause competition. You might get more views if you post on both things. But then on the other hand, you might lose lots of views if they all go to one of the other platforms. Yeah, there's that. Um there's is it going to be the same as YouTube? Are you going to have thumbs up, thumbs down? Are you gonna be able to like comments? Are you gonna be able to uh video so? Are you going to be able to comment on videos? Will you have a view count? Will you have a subscriber base? Will you have a news feed? It might be completely different, and a lot of people just might not like the format. Um, I think they're going to have to copy YouTube very closely just for people to to be okay. familiar with it and, and just come over. So, so what I'm saying is uh, another platform might be good in theory but it's going to have all the same problems that youtube have had because that's just the nature of uh hosting video online that that people upload yeah what do you think so about? so people let me just clarify this a little bit so people in the side chat right uh, there's a few conflicting things there what it is if you want to monetize your videos from the 20th of february right you need 1000 uh subscribers to your channel you need uh, not at least put 10,000, it might have just put in a, an extra um, zero, but it's 1,000 subscribers, it's 240,000 minutes in the in 12 months, which is 4,000 hours viewed, uh, and the 10,000 is the uh, 10,000. You need 10 time, you need 10,000 lifetime views, but that was brought that was brought in back in April. Um, so that, hopefully that clarifies it up a little bit for people in the chat there. Um, also, uh, I don't know too much about it because literally it's only just come to my attention. We lost Gareth's over there. Um, we lost it only just come to my attention just before when I was researching, just before the chat started. But this, there is an there is an alternative that started in after after the ad boycott last April. Uh, something called DTube. And it's just D and tube. That's a, that is a, a rival. Now, what they've said is from their ad revenue, they're they're only getting people in that you can free speech on the on this D tube. You can free speech. So basically, you can swear. You can talk about UFOs and aliens. You can talk about whatever you want, and you're not going to get limited off uh, the ad revenue because the only people that's giving them the revenue are basically not cared about the content. It's it's like a it's like a free speech sort of uh, platform. Uh, Gareth, Zoe, can we have you back, please? <laughs> uh, I find it hard and demotivating to start again on another platform after the three years of hard work I've been on YouTube. Exactly, Paul, and I'm one that I've got 260 videos on YouTube and I've never won't save one to like an external YouTube as the as, as my memory. So yeah. Uh, Forty five viewers by the way guys, that's breaking records tonight, smashing it. Um, right, Kev, Kev, um, I just had to take com a conference call in the uh, toilet. What are we on about?
DTube. Have you heard of DTube? No. No, I haven't. I've, I've literally only just come across it just a few minutes and uh, it got, just before the chat started, so much so that I didn't even have a chance to talk to you guys. Uh, it started after the ad boycott in April last year for YouTube. Some uh, some guy started up called uh, a rival platform called DTube. Now what they're saying is you can come and you can come into the create videos, have free speech, talk about whatever you want, whether it's uh, to not not to burp, but I mean like not mainstream like UFOs or whatever, and you're not going to get punished by the the ad revenue guys because. But the other people that's bringing the ad, uh, the revenue in are all for free speech sort of thing. So you can't get punished for swearing or, you know, you know, like some uh, was MCQ was MCQ and Wild Ginger Roots talking about butchering animals and all that. You're not going to get punished because you know the revenue, the, the revenue is uh, is there anyway. You know, but the the layout and it looks like a carbon copy, really. Of the old, you know, YouTube recently changed. Um, I changed mine back actually. I didn't like the new YouTube, so I'm still on the old YouTube. And the the layout was pretty much the same as the old YouTube. Um, uh, Wild Camping Magazine DTube is a click bucket subscription. Uh, go into all your business, share to your messenger. Uh, good point, well made. Yeah, and that, that's what I was saying as well. You know, 260 videos, none saved to external memory. <laughs> YouTube was my external memory. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is a good storage platform um, for free. There's nowhere else nowhere else you could store that amount of um, footage for free because you can upload near enough an unlimited amount of video content to YouTube for nothing, can't you? So it's, it's good in that respect, but... Um, when we used to edit our older videos, we was doing it all on a, a quite a crappy laptop, really, and we just didn't have the, the storage space, so we burnt everything on DVD. So each, each one of our wild camps are burnt on DVD, and it's stored up in a metal box upstairs. And we've also sent copies to Zoe's sister in Scotland as well, so we've sort of got a backup if the house burns down. But... Um, yeah, because you don't know what YouTube's going to do at the end of the day. They might just decide to deter uh, terminate your account out of the blue because it's been done. It has happened. It has happened, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So um, the, there's also YouTube Red, though. I'm not sure how many people know about um, YouTube Red. Um, that's where you pay ten dollars a month, and you get all your content that you watch. It's all ad free. Yeah, so you get exclusive premium content, you get unlimited music, and you can download your videos, any videos you want to watch on your device, so you can watch them anytime. Through, it's actually through YouTube. And the way it works is 45% of you that you pay a month, so you pay ten dollars a month. I'm not sure what that is in pounds, but 45% yeah. of that, yeah, 45% go to YouTube and 55% goes to the creators. Now, the way that's split up is, say if I watch an hour of you, Kev, and I watch an hour of Paul, Prep Nomad, that 55% is split between the two of you. So that money I'm paying for the subscription is, is split up to the people we actually watch, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And it, it's um, it's apparently it's a lot lot better than the normal YouTube and no adverts and unlimited free music and all that. Um, but I'm not sure about its availability in this not area because no, I know it's not available in every area. But um, when it does become available, it, it'd certainly be worth um, thinking about. People pay a silly amount a month to pay for Sky TV and stuff and end up watching YouTube more. So why not pay for a better YouTube? Yeah, there's uh, some people's arguments, but the thing is, as well, if you click down on your on your homepage of your YouTube channel, um, it's there's also uh, YouTube music and YouTube TV or no YouTube video now, so you can like pay nine ninety nine to watch. They are the moving into the subscription based um, market, 
and like you say before, they're, they're a business. They've got to they've got to earn money. Uh, mm-hmm. During during this, uh, the research that we was doing for this chat, we did find that YouTube gets twenty hours of a minute of YouTube uh, of videos uploaded, and that um, what was it? It cost them three hundred million pounds, uh, three hundred million dollars. Just to buy enough bandwidth, bandwidth to uh, store all these videos. It was crazy. Yeah, it's mad. It's a phenomenal. Mm. Uh, there's Dog Soldier. Evening, Dog. Uh, sounds like a good idea. Yeah, we'll have to keep a thing. We'll have to keep our eyes out and see when this uh, YouTube bread is available in the UK. I, I do earn a little bit of revenue of it. Obviously, as a creator, we can go into our analytics and see where the revenues come from. And I do get a bit of it. So it must be from people watching over in the States. Uh, in fact, there's people from the States in the side. Do, do any of you uh, pay the subscription money for uh, YouTube Red? Uh, States, yeah, Canada, or any of that? We, uh, we do get quite a few... Um youtube red view so obviously someone's paying to watch us god knows why but they are seeing the <laughs> analytics and uh yeah it's it's a decent amount for the per per view per what you get paid is a lot lot higher than uh, what adsense pays but yeah oh i don't understand oh, there, that. rob rob says i pay for youtube red once a month are you are you you're in the you're in the UK, aren't you, Rob? It's in Yorkshire. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm sure my channel says it's not available in my country yet. I'm not, have... uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, I know how it works and everything, but I'm not sure where it's available. But if Rob's paying for it, then, um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, is it, it obviously it's worth it, Rob? If you're if you're paying for it, I bet YouTube's a lot better without all the adverts and stuff like that. Watch more yeah, of our it, videos, will we? I mean, the the, the videos do uh, do pee people off. Um, uh, I seen something earlier on. I'm sure it was when I was reading the stats. I'm sure it was by 2020, 60 percent of people will not have a, subscri- uh, a television subscription. It'll all be online, yeah. Which was a uh, uh, oh, there's another new name in the side chat. Carry on checking. I've never heard of YouTube Red. I was just yeah. going to say carry on checking. You're, you've come over from my channel, haven't you? I, I noticed the name. I'm going to sound stupid now if you haven't, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you comment quite a bit on our videos. Oh, I see the dislike has been and gone. Um, never heard of YouTube Red. Yeah, it's a new thing. I mean, like you say, what what do I pay a month? Oh, I must pay seven pound a month for Netflix or something. I can't remember now. So it's not much more. Um, so yeah, it's uh, like Rob says, it's not really took off the ground yet. But when it does, I mean, especially if the if uh, the the revenue is getting shared out, you know, and it's more fairer that way. And that's that's all I've like Gareth will know. That's all I've ever said. I just want. I just want this uh, YouTube business to be fair, you know? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah I mean... Bella Legrand and Johnny yeah. Outdoors, hello and a hello. Welcome to the chat. Yeah. Uh, oh, Rob said you still have to pay for some videos at like two ninety nine. It's not our videos. <laughs> I no. wish it was. No, it's not. It, that's that's like premium content, isn't it? That's made specifically for YouTube Red. Yeah, the good stuff. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. Can't uh, can't you rent oh, films on them? Oh. I think that's YouTube video or YouTube. I stumbled it across it the other day, and I know they're bringing out a YouTube music as well to. Try and uh, was it Vivo? Try and compete with them. Uh, that, just say goodbye to Gary. I'm sorry. That that YouTube Red um, includes the free unlimited music, Kev. Does it? Yeah, it does. I was, I was looking earlier. Um, 
I did have I did have a window up with what it includes, but I've lost it. Uh, if we can find it again, we'll just screen share, yeah. Yeah, hang on. Uh, it's not yours, but like premium content, like Roman Atwood. But if you wait a week, they put it on normal YouTube anyway. It's just a revenue source. Uh, uh, Wild Camper Magazine. I do not have a TV subscription that I've had one for years. I'm able to watch TV here. So it's so it's you lot on YouTube channels. I, I very, very rarely watch TV. I, I tend to stick to Amazon, uh, Netflix, and YouTube. And then I'm always watching some I want. I like to watch stuff that I learn from or stuff like where they're building in Alaska and stuff like that. So, yeah. Mm. Uh, anyone inside chat who's not already go sub Johnny Outdoors' channel? There you go. Lee has told you. Go and sub to Johnny Outdoors. Right. Yeah, this one Can we see that? Have the stuff on the uh, screen. Uh, let me just present to everyone so any noise I make won't take it off the screen. So, yeah, so you have ad, ad free videos, un uninterrupted music, YouTube Red Originals. Um, you can download the videos that you want to watch like on your device so you can watch them later. And background play, which is something that you can play in the background i don't know you can read that if everyone can read that yeah, inside. video so say say we went camping and we had a right crappy night and we had to stay in our hammocks or tents we can just watch a movie or you know one hour joe joe roman a video or something like that is that what you mean is that what it means yeah uh, i don't know you'll have to read that um Mm -hmm. Carry on trekking. The sooner I don't have to pay a TV license fund to the BBC, the better. I don't. I don't have to pay because it's all online. Uh, hi guys, just caught you on live YouTube. Not too hot on the video load myself, but keep up the good work. Uh, love to watch all your vids. Says Bob Meehan. I'm sorry if I butchered your surname there, pal. Um, Uh, Rob Gilchrist says, I'll give you an example. He puts it on YouTube Red. He has 11 plus million subs and you get more money now. But the fact of normal folk get penalised ain't fair. Uh, weren't expecting that, Lee, but cheers, mate. Um, man, uh, uh, man stuff TV, you don't have to buy a TV licence if you don't watch TV or Sky or Cable. Yeah, I don't watch anything live, so I don't... No. Um, T1 out of the bag. Well, yeah. So, damn folks, just arrived. It's all kicking off on YouTube. All right, that's. You'd have to go back and watch the video back a bit later, and uh, we've tried to give a professional, professional rundown of the changes and what they could mean to channels, big channels and smaller channels. Yeah, to be honest, uh, we was hoping it would kick off on here tonight, weren't we? But it hasn't yet. So, <laughs> give it time. <laughs> yeah. It's it's quite all reserved so, tonight. It's all, it's quite reserved, isn't it, tonight? Normally there's like scraps and punch ups and swearing and all sorts. Yeah, memes. Oh no, no memes. No, no memes in here, do we? No memes. Um no Yeah, Josh is going to bed, good night, Josh. Um so did you or did you not uh come up with your own little mini section? <laughs> Segment. Was it was you gonna do a a social media comment of the week or something or um no to be honest we was gonna do a video of the week and stuff but we haven't <laughs> we haven't watched a lot of youtube this week if we're honest um we've been trying to plan we're going away in a few days so we're trying to plan that um one uh, probably the best video we did watch this week was probably uh gone for a ratch they they went yeah. up to they went up to somewhere but they caught this really awesome sunset and it was a it was a good video it was um, visually, it was really, really nice. Um, um, was the sunset a still or video? Video, yeah. Um, we we haven't watched polls yet, prep nomads, but we're uh, looking forward to them. We just haven't we just haven't got 
well, not we haven't had a chance to um, to watch anything really, not much anyway. And then, like I say, in a few days' time, we're going away um, on a wild camp to hopefully the Peak District somewhere. So hoping for a bit of snow, and um, yeah, hoping hoping to keep it under ten kilograms because we hate carrying weight unless it's Bailey's weight. Um, but yeah, so. Look out for a video next week at some point. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Um, have you got a little channel you could recommend? Uh, yours, Kev. Was it? That's No, honestly, I'd say everyone in the side chat, subscribe to Kev, even if it's just purely for the live chats, because some of them are right corpus. If you look through some of the Saturday night ones, it's oh, they've had us in stitches. We've been on the floor laughing at some. Yeah, of that's the drink talking, isn't it? <laughs> Mostly. But yeah, if you if you're not subscribed to Kev, you won't get the notification pop pop up when he's live. Uh, it's definitely worth it for that alone. But on top of that, you've got all the camping videos, bushcraft, camping hacks, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, definitely big big plug for Kev. Get subscribed now. Do it. Very flattered, guys. Thank you very much. Yep. You're quite welcome. So, now then. Uh, oh, Jonah's here. Jonah Freeze says Five Outdoors. Um, uh, and I've seen another new name there. Uh, Hiking Deep. Hello from across the pond. Hello. Hello, hello. Uh, I advertise this live chat in my new video. Uh, Camp Nice Bushcrafts. Nice one. I, I've seen the shout out on Instagram, mate, but I ain't gone over to uh, watch it on YouTube yet. I know it was there, though, buddy. Thanks for that. Uh, and thanks for thanks for shouting us out over on Instagram there. Right, what? Hang on, let me just go to my notes. Yeah, right. We've got half an hour left, so for the next fifteen minutes, I want the um, side chat to think of a topic that you might want us to discuss while we've got Gareth and Zoe there, and then at about quarter past for the last fifteen minutes, it's going to be sort of the guests uh fans to ask them questions live um and, I, and i'm hoping that's going to be a a big feature when we start advertising these channels uh, these chats more and the special guests who are going to be coming on it gives you um it gives you a chance you know to interact live you know i know i know the gaffers always get a lot of comments because i've seen how many hours they, they have to spend replying to them but this will be your chance to hopefully get your question live so in the side yeah, chat, no, no, sorry, no, no rude comments, or oh, you get kicked. Yeah, there's rude comments. You get an Insta ban for life. It's that simple. When did you start using notes? Kev says Craig Fordham. Literally last week, just while I get into the flow of the new chats. Um, yeah, while I get into the flow of new chats, I just need to know the order I'm doing stuff, and it has changed since last week. So, um, there we go. Hiking deep topic. What is your favourite fire starting tool, Zoe? Um, <laughs> we tend to take a, yeah, we take a mix, don't we, of stuff. Um, we take um, woody, um, woody burners and mess and other thing we use mostly, I think, on the videos, really, just because it's quick, isn't it? But, but for lighting fires, I think most we use those cotton wool balls. If it's like a yeah. tra traditional fire, cotton wool balls and the... Um, Sometimes a, a fire steel. Um, you're not so keen just because. Well, I think I think what it is with your fire steel is your striker's not very good. No. I shouldn't say that because I bought her it. But yeah. <laughs> what what I've what I've done for the our daughter's um, strikers is got a hacksaw blade and I've snapped off about three or four inches of the end. You know where you've got a hole either end so i've snapped off the end and left the hole for a bit of power cord and because it's like got the little serrations it's brilliant as a striker and uh, yeah. but yeah I would, I would say cotton wool balls for fighting uh, fighting <laughs> for lighting a, a normal fire yeah but but we've we have done bits with birch bark but if you're in a if you're in a pine forest and there's no birch bark we're not experienced enough to find fat wood yet which is something you've got to show us Kev when we come to you next yeah lovely yeah, to be fair we don't do that and camping either we tend to do a lot of hill walking and climbing so yeah. we'll carry something we can light 
just to cook food yeah. on really isn't it no, i always said pot noodles and pop topic pot noodles oh um uh, i like the bombay bad boy so you won't touch that stuff for your life uh, too many e numbers and all that sort of rubbish in it and you don't like noodles um, but I like. I would um, say Bombay Bad Boy with extra chili. I I I I like Birch Bark. I like Birch Bark in a ferro rod. Um, the reason is I think Birch Bark in the UK is such an underrated tree. I love the bird. It's probably my favourite tree. You know, it, it comes. There's so many different uses. You know, um, the, the bark can be used as a really good firelighter if you just scrape that. Um, you know, there's the, all the containers, although we ain't got the, the, the birch trees that we used to have, or I don't even think Canada and Sweden have the, as good a, a trees as what they used to have, but the birch bark. Um, but yeah, um, I think people have been saying, it. You, you can't beat just a, a good old lighter in most instances, you know. Um, there's plenty of times, and it, and it looks nice on video using fat wood and a bit more traditional methods, but you've got to have a, you know, you've got to have a lighter. You'll be a bit silly... And I've done it loads of times, gone out without a lighter. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, but yeah, the, the, the birch tree for me, it's so, so undervalued, you know. In the spring, we're tapping it for water, or, or sap, shall we say. You know, lily, you know, it's a, it's a safe tree to carve. Um, yeah, the polypores grow on there, so you raise a strop fungus and... You know, it's such a such a good uh, such a good tree, and because it's not like a big old English oak or whatever, it's a bit undervalued. Um, yeah, definitely. Um, Paul's just said, uh, "Prep Nomad, what are the personal creeds you live by?" What would you say for that one? <laughs> Stop throwing questions at me. I can't think. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I don't. I don't know really. Um, Mine's the cut out memes. <laughs> Yeah, not not work yourself into the ground because you we all get we all die in the same manner. You get buried or burnt at the end. You can't take your money with you. Just just go out and enjoy life and yeah, love, live and camp. Basically, that's it. Over. Uh, Dan Dan says personally, the, the adverts don't bother me. Um, I tell you, Dan, Dan, it's the Facebook adverts that really pee me off. You get, yeah, you, get ten, yeah. you get ten seconds into a video now on Facebook, and then you have to watch the video. It does my head in. Uh, Craig Fordham says friction. No, I think you're a bit off friction fire yet, Craig. <laughs> Birch bark is a great tool. It's hiking deep. Uh, yeah, Rob, gonna get an XL one day, day off, Mister Scooby. Uh, you answered Bob. You guys have huge advantages when speaking of bushcraft. You have no predators that makes for a relaxed experience. I always say that. I always say that. When I give the shout out earlier to Sean James, he once we was messaging once, and he said, that "If I ever get myself over there to give him up, give him a call." I said, "I've got a lot. Of, I've got a lot of learning to do before I go over to where he lives with them bears. I'll, I'll cut my bacon in the morning and wipe my, wipe my knife on my leg. I'll, I'll wake yeah. up in the night and I'll be like gone. So I've got some learning to do." <laughs> Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure we'd like the, the idea of that. I think our, our biggest predator or danger in this country when you're camping is actually other people. Um, they would always be the danger to you. Not any animals we have, but I think just just idiots that are out getting pissed or, sorry, or waving knives around. Just, just other that's, that's people. Too bad. You can keep swearing. My, my canoe fund is building. <laughs> You need a you need a beeper or like a sensor that goes over my mouth. Or, or just some self control. <laughs> yeah. um, someone asked what I was. Drinking. Someone asked what I was drinking earlier. I was I had a bottle of wine, only a little bottle, and then um, just I'm just on water now. So yeah, not not it's not like neat vodka or anything. Honest. Um, plenty of silver silver birch in your garden uh, in the ground or a pot. I nod tip tat salute to your favourite tree. Yeah, well, it's. I wanted to uh, plant a few in the the local woods. It was on about making uh, taking down some uh, fruit trees as well. Um, so that might be a thing. 
Not on the back. Sensible approach to life, says our Rambo. Uh, DT says ticks are the worst predator we have. Yeah, Craig Fordham's just been recently diagnosed with t uh, with Lyme's disease. I've got my Lyme's disease test on the 24th of January. Um, as for people, oh, Wilderness Timmy, sorry, I did notice your, uh, your name pop up a little bit earlier. I knew one to the chat. Welcome, uh, Wilderness Timmy. Um, you must be coming over from Gareth and Zoe's subscriber base. I, um, I think it's the opposite. I mean, you know, you, most of you now are a big old lump. <laughs> but I always tell people I'm the worst people in the woods. I'm the one with the knives. I'm the one with the axes and all the sharps and, you know... <laughs> I'm protected, you know, 99 out of 100 times my little girls can be when you say, yeah, I will get protected. I'm the scariest thing in the world, and that's what I've always told her. <clears throat> it, it, was, it was foxes for her. For a long while, she used to be foxes. <coughs> I'll have to show the video of Bruce today hand-feeding a wild one. Yeah, cheers, Mike. Uh, Cornish nice, uh, Cornish knives and camping's going. Um, see you later, buddy. Thanks for coming on. Uh, yeah, night, Mike. Uh, right, I need to go sleep now. Says Steve, one camera magazine. Good night, and please, guys. Old, oh, yeah, it's uh, yeah. it's not too bad actually, Steve. We had a few big snow clouds earlier, but they're gone. So, um, oh, I tell you what, we have forgot in the news. We forgot about EDI, haven't we? <laughs> Oh yeah, one of the biggest things, and you forgot it. Yeah. How the hell did I miss that? Hang on, my notes. News. No, it's because I didn't write it down. Yes. Yeah, so I did touch on it earlier and said I was watching uh, Goonies video, and um, that's you know sort of twisting my leg. I want to go to the. I want to go to Edale. Yeah, Edale has now been confirmed. Thanks to uh, Ginger Bushcraft and Prep Nomad for letting us know. Um. But yeah, Edel dates confirmed. Was it 24th to the 28th of May, which I think falls on the same weekend as the Bushcraft show again. Um. So yeah, Edel, will you be going? Hey, where's? Yeah, Gareth and Zoe. Um. Yeah, we we plan to, haven't we? I think we're gonna. Yeah, but the time off work, I think we're definitely going this year. Yeah, a couple of nights probably. Um. I don't think we can get there while well Friday night, so Friday night and Saturday night. Yeah, so if anyone wants to come along and say hello, then please do so and come and have a drink with us, definitely. Yeah, yeah, looking forward to it. Why, why not? Never been before. Why Sorry? not Sunday night? Why not Sunday night? Just out of interest. Uh, <clears throat> um, probably just logistics with children. Um, we don't know who we've got yet at the moment and where they'll be staying or if they're going to the other parents. So um, at the moment we've just planned the two nights, haven't we? Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to play the Sunday night by ear, really. But um, we we had just planned for the Friday and Saturday at the minute. Um, no, that's cool. I thought, you, I thought you might have said because of the money you might be at work or whatever, but it falls on a bank holiday, doesn't it? Yeah. I work bank holidays anyway, sometimes, so <laughs> that's not always helpful. It's be illegal. So, yeah, de definitely be there. We'll we'll be flying under the Woodland Camp and Craft group, let's say. Yeah, we, we're going to have a, we're gonna have a little bit of a, an event shout out there, aren't we? We're going we're gonna to have a, like a, a Woodland Camp and Craft sort of area. Uh, hopefully it'll be next to the MTFU guys and the uh, Rat Pack lads. Yeah. And so, yeah, there'll probably be a fire there, a few, cheer, a few chairs, a bit of meat or tofu and some beers. <laughs> yeah, just a few. But, yeah, I mean, it's it's predominantly a bushcraft show and we're, we're not a bushcraft channel, so we're not too bothered about sort of promoting our, our own channel as much sort of thing. So we're quite happy to give Woodland Camp and Craft as much promotion as possible and because you're all about that sort of uh, thing aren't you and, and just sort of yeah just give you a presence there but, uh, I mean, Paul, Paul said it as well and I know Mike did it's not really about um, bushcrafty though it's just people people camping in it you know people are in vans people are in massive tents people have got like loads of loads of weight because you're just sleeping at the side of your car so uh, yeah I don't I mean, think it's well, like well, it. well, yeah, I mean, we'll we'll be coming in a big canvas tent with like big beds and all sorts of rubbish. But yeah, Jesus. so 
Will that be the first time the old uh, the old canvas? You, you're going to be recording, right? Because I know you you don't like to so much when your kids are there. Yeah, we're not bringing the kids to Edo. Oh, I thought you said you was. Oh, right. Got <clears throat> no, the the kids will be going to other parents and aunties and that sort of thing. So. Yeah, so like when you said about, um, about the logistics, I thought you meant because the kids was coming. No, the, kid, the, kids are going, the kids are like going to other parents and stuff, but because to be honest, I don't think they would, I think they would get a bit bored and it would sort of restrict us to go into like bed early and stuff like that. And it's, it's just, I think they would like just get bored, to be honest. So, okay. yeah, and at the end, of, we don't, we don't know what to expect to the place. I know. A lot of adults have told us it's really sort of enjoyable and stuff, but uh, like Paul said, there's n there's not a great deal to keep kids there entertained, and we've got two teenage daughters, and they get bored within thirty seconds. So, you know, it's it's just best if they uh, if they uh, <laughs> go elsewhere and more happy. Do you know what I mean? And we can en enjoy ourselves and yeah. Okay, so I will re revert back to the original question. Will this be the first time the, the viewers are seeing the old boat tent then? It will be for, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think We've never will. had it on a video, have we? It's a bit heavy for one. Yeah, I, I think the tent weighs something like 35 kilograms, so <laughs> it's uh, it, it's quite weighty on its own. And then, um, yeah, but no, we're going to be going proper glamping style, aren't we? Yeah. yeah so yeah. Yeah. I, I think it's good for your channel, you know? I think it's good for my channel and anyone else's channels that, you know, people can see you in your your preferred environment, 10 kilogram packs on, you know, lightweight up and ill, but it was, it'd be nice to see you probably a bit more relaxed around the campfire, all your luxuries. And I, I think that would be a benefit to the channel. I think, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, we're going to, we're going to film it or we'll film inside the tent and show our setup, probably do a bit of a time lapse of putting it up and yeah, just, into our tent with us, not not real people, but <laughs> people of the video. Obviously, you're welcome, Kev. I'll just uh, I'll just see Zoe digging and burying all the booze so you can't find it. <laughs> I've seen you at the Christmas meet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I drank too much on that. Definitely. Way too much. <laughs> it was, it was, when you've got that sort of atmosphere, though, and I'm, it's too easy to drink too much because it was such good fun. It, it's too easy. Yeah, this, this was a. Yeah, this was a thing. No, normally, I'm quite um, reserved around groups of people because I'm quite a sh naturally a shy person. And but at your meet, you just just felt like you was with old friends, and the just the drink just kept flowing, and it's just yeah. And all tomorrow's drink just kept flowing, <laughs> <laughs> and all mine just kept flowing. <laughs> it, it did, but I wouldn't if I, I just didn't feel relaxed. Don't want to drink your booze, Zoe. I'm putting my lips. Yeah, that's what you kept saying. I'm not going to drink all your drink. I just want to wet my lips with it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I haven't felt that rough the next morning for for ages. I was, I was bad. Yeah. No, it was brilliant. It was a brilliant. It was a brilliant. It was a brilliant fit. Yeah. It was good though. Yeah. Very. It kind of makes me want to do a lot more of them, but then all of a sudden it, it won't be as fun, would it? So I think once a year or once every couple of years, that'd be enough. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, on a ramble, my five-year-old loved it last year, even whilst having chicken pox, bless him. Uh, uh, are you going again on a ramble? Because it'd be nice if you, uh, your little one was there for my little one to hang about with. I'll be subbing to care, says Dan Dan. Nice one. Thanks, thanks for that. Uh, I can deep. I will sub some of you. Please do the same for me. Yeah, that's what this. That's what we do a lot of around here is sharing the love, sharing the subs. Uh, it seems like it might be a little bit more important today as well with everything that's gone on. So yeah. Uh, what? Thirty if you're oh, 34, 34 likes, thirty five watching. There must be someone that's not liked. Let's uh, let's get a bit of a like spike and get us right up there. Yeah, that's, that must be another record. I was going to say, what's your record? It is. is that it? Yeah. Three, one, sweet, yeah. That's two records we broke tonight, so we're going from strength to strength. Nice one. Oh. 
Right, so it's quarter past, so now it's time for the Gareth and Zoe fans to maybe ask them a few questions. Oh, I've got a lot of you. No, 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 I'm still logged. So logged. Um, Go on then, we'll, we'll try and answer them as, as uh, honestly as we can. See, there's none, right? Good night. No one's interested. <laughs> Right. Good night, everyone, and thanks for watching. We'll see you on next week's chat. <laughs> Bye for now. Uh, no, there's a bit of a lag. Let's give it a minute. There's a bit of a lag. Um, yeah, so everyone pop over to Hiking Deep. Uh, what have we got? Thanks, Prep. Money didn't leave the last one. Hello, Jonah. Jonah's going to be at um, Edale. Uh, I mean, you've been quiet tonight. He has, hasn't he? But, yeah, it's a long drive for you. He's been trying to put memes in the chat, he? has been trying to Google how to put memes in the chat with Paul. Yeah. Right at the bottom with family, Paul didn't really know anyone apart from Paul Mesner, so didn't camp in the middle. Yeah, well, there's going to be a Rat Pack flag up for sure. There's going to be a Woodland Campercraft one. I think there's an MTFU one as well. So, And like I said, we are, we are hoping to be sort of reasonably close to each other. So just look for the flags and then you'll find people uh, I think we're, we're thinking about, I know the Rat Pack have got their um, T-shirts and hoodies and we're thinking about doing the same T-shirt-wise. So, even if you can't, Some of us aren't. you know, if you like lean your other cat doors and all that, they're all going to be having T-shirts. So, you know, even if, you, even if you're in and you can't see, you can't recognise people from the side chat or whatever, you know, you'll definitely be able to see on the T-shirts who they are. I <laughs> And then it's, yeah, Zoe's not wearing a t shirt. She says you can stuff up. <laughs> Zoe's getting special leggings. <laughs> you, you can't dress me, I'll just dress how I want. <laughs> yeah. Did you, you get a. Did you... About dress length, anyway. <laughs> about what? <laughs> dress <About> length. <laughs> <laughs> no, not, well, your answer to that, Kev, is not as slutty as you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> did you um, did you get a quote on the flag? I think I'm looking around forty quid. Yeah, and I think that I think that right. was six foot before. Yeah, yeah. Um, but right, but a, go on. on the on the flip side to that, that was getting them to do it. But your idea with the transfers, I can get the same size flag for four pound or five pound, and then transfer the logos on. Yeah, that would be. I think it would work. Yeah. Right, there's a question coming. Gareth and Zoe, have you got any new people you'd like to camp with this year? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not now, yeah. me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Paul. I would say everyone at Edale, to be honest. It'd be good to meet everyone, and um, there'd be a lot of new faces we don't know. And the thing with me, especially, Zoe's not as bad, but I'm absolutely rubbish with faces. So if you see us at Eda and come up, just tell us who you are or what your name is when you comment or something like that, because uh, I have absolutely no idea sometimes. I'm, I'm useless. Um, and there's another question, wasn't there? Um, have you always been into camping? My camping started with the Cubs and Scouts. Um, yes, we have always been into camping, to be honest. Um, Zoe had camped when she was younger and it was a disaster. Yeah, we'll tell you about that in a minute. But <laughs> um my my camping history is, was basically like what I've done with my children is camped from being weeks old as a baby. Always just always remember being a camper. So it's it's just it's always just been second nature. It's it it didn't phase us taking the transition from going to wild camping, uh, camping on campsites to wild camping because the only thing you're sort of removing is the facilities and we can manage for a night or two without a shower block and a shop and stuff like that. So, yes, we have always camped, but it's it's been more in the glamping style, if that makes sense. And um, Zoe, I'll let Zoe tell you her, her uh, camping experience. Well, I, I went camping when I was younger and I just ended up borrowing a tent of somebody and it just filled with water and it was awful. It was just one of the worst experiences. Everything was wet and it didn't really put me off being in the outdoors because I love the outdoors. But that was kind of one of the few times I actually went camping when I was young. And then I really took up camping 
sort of more when I got with Gareth, to be honest. Though I've always been a walker, so I would always do hill walking and climbing. So that side of the wild camping really appeals to me particularly. Yeah, so when we met, I, I suggested um, we'd not been to, together that long. I was like, oh, should we go away camping up to Yorkshire? And uh, we've got the photos on Facebook. And she was like, oh, yeah, sure, all right. And I said, oh, have you been camping before? What's your experience? She says, well, I did borrow a tent off someone. It rained all night and all the water got in. And everything was floating. It was awful. And I was like, oh, God, let's hope this one's better. <laughs> and um, yeah, you actually loved it, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, I really took to it. So ever since then, we've just both been camp as much as possible and then sort of just got into wild camping. And then obviously, we've got three children at home. So it is hard to get out. That's why we only get out once a month. But as soon as we've got that free time, we're out the door. Yeah. I hope that answers your question. Okay, Wilderness Timmy, what are your ideas for future camps? Ideas for future camp? Uh, uh, to answer that absolutely truthfully, we don't know from, from one camp to the other. We're a bit spur at the moment, really, aren't we? Just what we've, whatever we find on a map is where we go. Yeah, our, our camping thing normally goes get a... Get, get, a map out. Get, get an OS map out. And stare at it for hours till you find ruins and. Yeah, just just <laughs> just go through it, find places that look interesting, and then go on Google Earth, cut layer the land, um, check how far it is away from houses. If we can park somewhere safe, like in a village or a town, and and because we don't like leaving the car in like remote laybys and stuff like that, um, and and just basically like that is our how we find places to camp. We just Google things like ruins or remote woodlands or, or anything on Google Images, just look at images, back it up with maps and and take it from there. Um, there's there's obviously, we, we want to do a couple of stone circle wild camps and stuff, so we would just look for suitable ones for that. But if it's, if it's not something specific, then it is just a case of a map Google Earth, just Google Images, chatting to each other. Um, we've got a few books like Wild Ruins that's got lots of remote places in that's quite cool. And, yeah, that's that's more or less it, to be honest. Would you agree with that? Yep. Yeah. Maybe a cave camp, eh? Maybe you've found another no cave. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. And just answer Paul. Paul says, that's way too much for the flag. Mike got asked for around tenner. Yeah, I think it's a bit bigger than yours, though, Paul. And it was coming in expensive because of the uh, all the different logos. It wasn't just mine; it was everybody's logos. Um, Zoe, did you have porridge and cheese today? No, I didn't. <laughs> I never meant to have it the first time. It was an accident. <laughs> Who put that? I can't see that. Who put that? Down? Down, down, cheeky boy. Yeah, I've now learned to label food when I've got two lots of white powder that look similar. <laughs> oh, what a, yeah, what a plonker. She'll never live that down, will she? Zoe don't get on very well with her food and wild caps. If she's there to make a mistake, I'm like, right, camera out quick, get it rolling. You're, you're there to make, if anyone makes a mistake, like falling in the streams. Um, yeah. Someone did ask early on, and I said to ask again in a little while, and whoever I said to ask again in a, lot, a little while, this was why. They want to know something about your. your your, uh, your, your big breakfast. So if you're still in the side chat, sorry we had to postpone you a little bit, but if you want to come back and answer the uh, breakfast question again for for that for Gareth, that one was, because it was on about fry up, so I wanted it for Zoe. What was the um, what was the question? Uh, it was miles ago, mate. I, I just asked them politely if they'd just ask again in a little while because, <clears> you know, was was trying to stick to the, uh, stick to the segments. Um, oh, cool. DT, you want to go... You get links to Edo, trust me. I know Paul said me, I'm the snorer, but you you could not be worse than Prep Nomad for snoring, I'm telling you. Uh, hiking deep, I don't drink, I'm more of a herbalist. Each to their own, buddy. Have you, oh, Dan Dan again. Have you ever uh, considered wild camping abroad? Um, no, not really. <laughs> It's a bit, bit hard to leave the children nip abroad and come back at the moment. Maybe something when they're grown up, not something we've talked about particularly. It would it'd be nice to, but, um, yeah, it's just a case of, like, the children, really. We've, we've got to be 
reasonably close that if they need us we're only sort of a couple of hours sort of drive back so yeah Paul, Paul said um, where was it what advice would you give to a 16 year old version of yourselves don't do it <laughs> bye bye my advice what about you uh, I, I would probably tell them to do what I'm doing now but sooner do it at 16 instead of waiting until you're older so get out wild camping immediately yeah it's um I'm, I'm I'm glad we did it, but we um, it I, I wish we had done it like years and years before. When it was a lot. I don't know. I'd say if I was fitter or not, but because we yeah. weren't together years and years before, so yeah, but we, we might have met on the hill. <laughs> it would have been a different, be different videos. <laughs> yeah, and you just kick the microphone. Um, yeah, yeah. So that. When did you first start using YouTube? Um, we've um, it will be two years on the first of April. We started um, that we opened the account for Gareth and Zoe Wild Camps. I think you opened the account, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, because we was we made the decision to do our first wild camp, and we was <clears throat> we was travelling on the way there, and we sort of just said to each other, oh, "Should we film it for YouTube just for a laugh?" Like. And we wasn't sort of really that sure if we was joking with each other sort of thing. And anyway, we got there and I was uh, I had the camera and I was trying to film an intro and I was like, hi and welcome to such a set. I just kept buggering it up. I, I must have had about, I don't know, eight um, takes. Eight takes. <laughs> and I was literally shaking. I was that nervous. I hated being in front of the camera and it was just, it was just really bad. And Zoe's done a lot of public speaking so she's quite used to it but I was a bag of nerves and the best intro we got I still bugged up and Zoe's like laughing her head off in the background oh yeah you well, nothing's changed much has it? yeah and it's the same now still <laughs> but I, I try and leave the mistakes in because we're both human at the end of the day so I, so <laughs> so everyone makes mistakes so I thought why not leave them in I mean some people said leave the bloopers to the end, but we just we don't, we don't take them out. <laughs> no, we just we just leave them in because that's that's just who we are. Yeah, I've yeah. just I've forgot what that was. Oh, yeah, YouTube. I've just realised right. after all this time that you, I've been presenting you only. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was presenting you. I forgot what it was. It must have been an hour ago. Um. Okay, so it's so right. That's probably why all the viewers dropped because I wasn't on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Have you any plans to vlog some of the official long distance force paths you take from start to finish? Um, well, it's carry on trekking. Yeah, well, no, I say yeah, but we'd like to do the West Highland Way. So if we got the chance to do that, we'd definitely vlog it. Yeah. I'm not sure. We wouldn't really vlog the things that we do because we, we're so spontaneous. Sometimes we just go off tracks and climb through really random things and people really wouldn't want to follow the things that we've done sometimes. Yeah, we do a lot of long distance trails around in circles and through hedges <laughs> yeah. and things, but which obviously we can't always film. The amount we get lost is unreal, but well, not lost, but we always go off the beaten We always go, track. oh, that looks interesting. Let's go down yeah, there. Like, oh, what's that over there? And then three hours later, we're like, oh, here's the path again. Um, way is one we'd like to do and we'd also like to do more of Hadrian's Wolves. So we really enjoyed that one yeah definitely. Yeah. to answer your question uh we've got one from dt but i think i might i, I think i'd like to answer it for you if that is okay wait where is that who from uh he asks would you advise camping solo now this is why i want to answer it for for him uh for most people yeah but for these two, no, I'd, I'd rather see these two together. The, the, the bounce off each other brilliantly. Um, and I, I, I would want to see them on a solo camp as individuals, the, the Gareth and Zoe, and that's the way I'd like it to stay. Um, yeah, so I've answered that for you. <laughs> but what's, what's your thought on that? <laughs> um, my thoughts is it, we're both into camping, as there'd, there'd, be no, um, there'd be no practical point. To go in on our own because we just both love it as much as each other so if Zoe went off camping on sale i'd be like sat there going oh, i'm gonna be camping and, and she'd be the same and and that's fair enough so we've always agreed just that we just always do all our camping together because like we're the best of friends most of the time 
what a Irish drink that is. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we just, we just, yeah, it's just like being out with your best mate, messing about. I mean, I can't think of anyone I'd rather like kick about with out in the outdoors and. Yeah, you know I, mean? I can. I can just be myself around Zoe, and, and she's the same. And it's just, yeah, it's just enjoy it together more than we enjoy it, enjoy it on our own. So, yeah, um, everyone's saying they're glad you started filming. Um, uh, Daz D as well. Welcome to the chat, Daz D. Uh, I'm still yet to do a solo. You're laughing, and joking uh, with each other as part of your charm. Always like. Wanting your vids, they make me laughing. That means watching, always like watching your vids. Glad you started filming, you genuinely make me laugh every time. Uh, at least first few I camped a lot, but not on my own, just in case. Uh, where is your favourite camping area? Where is our favourite camping area? Uh, generally speaking, I would say the Lake District's got the most places we want, we want to explore. I know Scotland's more epic, but... I would say for me personally that there's a lot of the lake districts I want to explore. Yeah, I like I like both. I like the lakes and, and Scotland really. I like anywhere that's got a good long walk and some climbing, to be honest. But saying all that, Kev, as you know, I've said to you before, I really like my beach camp. So in the summer, I'd love being on the beach. I, I really like it. So, yeah, the beach in the lake district. But no, I, I do like beach camp, especially when you can go in the sea and and have a prat about. Yeah. Where, where we were, one of the day five when me and Paul was up there, loads of water. I think you're only about 20 minutes off the, the west coast there. You're not far at all from the... I've never explored there, but that might be a, an adventure that I put myself on. But yeah, it would be, it would be cool. Um, uh, where's Dan? Camp Life Bushcraft. I mostly camp alone with my dog. I love it. Yeah, can't beat it, says Doug. Uh, mostly alone. You believe us make a vid, Gareth? Aspects of the vid makes it a bit more natural. Love a solo. Have you tried the Norfolk Coast Path? I did it last October. Enjoy every second. Um, no, we've not. Well, we have done bits of it. Cause we, we've camped um, along parts of Norfolk, um, but we've not done the long distance path. But not, Norfolk's probably, well, it's it's somewhere I've been for a lot of years camping, not wild camping, but on sites and stuff. And I do like the coast along Norfolk. And nice sea. It beats the uh, Skegness at the end of the day, doesn't it? Um, hiking deep. I have to go. This is a great live chat. I wish you all, all the best of health, wealth, peace, and happiness. Yeah, cheers, hiking deep. Thanks for that. Thanks for dropping by. Um, There's a question there from Paul. Uh, order. Uh, about to do a free day in the lakes next week. Says carry on trekking. Coincidentally, I got a bottle of Bailey's bought for Christmas. Must be fate. <laughs> Is red Paul's? Yeah. Uh, who is your favourite maker of handcarved spoons? I see Charles Newman. <laughs> no, Matt. <laughs> yeah, you, Paul, definitely. Number one play. If anyone wants to see someone <laughs> progressing really well on carving spoons, watch Paul's channel. Prep no Yeah, definitely yeah. you, Paul. One hundred percent. No, no mad light spoon with a butter knife on the end, class. Uh, uh, Paul's just helping to sell a view, sell a few at Edale. So yeah, we've caught up. Chats and questions, and it's reached the uh, it's reached the uh, half ten mark. We are at one dislike, thirty three watching, and thirty six thumbs up. So that's going to be a new notification for the channel. I think the most was thirty three in a day, and there's thirty six. Unless, like last week, a load of people drop out when we not go live. I don't know why that happens, but <laughs> it seems to be the case. Um, so, Gareth and Zoe, the first time you've been on together as the proper guest, how have you liked it? I hated it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Um, it's a bit nerve-wracking to start with, coming on live, but I suppose we should be quite well-versed in front of the camera now, but uh, the only benefit you've got, well, a lot of benefits doing it, and then 
um, when it's not live is you can edit out your mess ups. So <laughs> not that we edit many out. We edit many out anyway. <laughs> but yeah, it's been fun, and everyone in the side chat's been great. So that's brilliant. And as I said earlier, if you're not subscribed to Kev, then definitely subscribe and hit the thumbs up because he does put an awful lot of um, effort into the live chats every week, and that's another reason to subscribe because. Obviously, you won't know when he's live if you don't, but you get a notification sort of come up in the corner of your screen or in the corner somewhere. When Camp and Craft's live, and like I say, some some of the Saturday night chats are right belters, aren't they? They are. Really, mm -hmm. really funny. Um, on YouTube, some of them. Yeah, definitely. I don't think I can remember many of them. <laughs> yeah, they're the funny ones. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dan Dan said one dislike must be a camping and caravan club members. No, we always get one dislike while we're live. It's the same person who just comes that dislikes. We're not worried about that. They're still coming, they're still viewing, and it's still an interaction for the channel, which will help. So, yeah, it won't matter if every single person that left a thumbs up left a thumbs down, it's still interaction with the channel, which is good. <coughs> <laughs> still not over it. What are you doing, Matt? Was that loud? Jesus. No, not loud. Yeah. I think it's just blowing our speakers. And, I, and I've got the mic at arm's length. Last week I had it just here right under my mouth. Oh, that looks a bit rude, doesn't it? Um, yeah. It's, so the sound levels. Uh, and yeah, Bruce, why are you there? I know you're in. What do you think of uh, Gareth's mic then? I know it just fucked out a bit of money and got on a, to get this set up going. So how was it? Was that fog on? <laughs> Sorry. This this is this is why I'm going for the Lyme's test. Um, one of the things is flu-like symptoms, and basically, since we come back from the Lake District in August, I got really ill at the end of September, and every you know every couple of weeks it feels like I've got the bug again. And being an outdoorsy type of person, I don't tend to get ill that much. But being a school bus driver, I thought it was just not you know 65 kids on my bus. I thought I'll just keep. I thought it would just keep surfing on the bus. So this is one of the symptoms of Lyme's. This is why I'm getting checked out. The lack of energy, the, the speech impediment that I seem to be creating. Um, <laughs> uh, the rash, I've had rashes and, uh, yeah, uh, joint pains as well. Shoulder, knees and ankles. So this is why I'm getting checked out next week. Dan Dan, the cat just jumped out of his skin. <laughs> Uh, who's uh, who's on next week's chat, Kev? Do we know yet? Uh, we've not quite got there, but we're, we're going to. We're gonna. Um, I just wanted to say as well, I know you said I look confident on these chats as well, but my the first time I did my intro and the first few videos I did on YouTube, I was the same. I was trembling. And I was like, how can you be scared? I, I, I've done a solo as well. I thought, how can you be scared? It's just you and a camera. What are you freaking out about? <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, it's... It's just, it's a weird sensation. Um, I actually sort of practiced a couple of times at home, and you feel the right wally doing it. But it's, it's one of these. I didn't I didn't want to hide behind the camera. I mean, how did you feel about the first time you spoke on camera? I wasn't bothered. Oh, I'm bothered. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. I liked watching your first one when you were walking around the house, going up and down the stairs, going, "Hello, I'm Gareth." And <laughs> Funny. I wish you still had that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Keep us outdoors. When you first log on, and all I hear is I've got rashes. <laughs> bad timing, that. Bad timing. Anyway. Yeah, so everyone's saying you've come through nice and clear. Um, obviously. Yeah, good, Bruce. Bruce, do you want me to send you a um, link to the microphone? It was off eBay, and like I say, it was um, it was something like seven ninety nine or something. It's only a cheap one, but it's um, it's the build quality seems spot on, to be honest. And if I I've, I can't hear myself, but if you lot are saying it's it's all right for a cheap home microphone, then yeah, cool. Perfect, perfect sound for me. Um, yeah, so. Uh, yeah, please, says Bruce. Um, Mr. Nomad, is it your turn next week then? Shall we advertise and get Mr. Prep Nomad on next week? 
Just wait for a bit of lag. Let me know and I'll get the thumbnails and everything all created and the event and everything else. If you want to come on next week, prep no matter. Happy anniversary today as well, Bruce. Two years anniversary for me and Bruce today. Although oh, that's, on. I think, we were on Facebook, yeah, but I think we, was, we must have been talking for a year before that on WhatsApp and everything else, I'm sure of it. But I'm, I'm uh, going to post a link. Sorry, Kev. I'm going to post a link to that uh, that microphone in the chat. So it's okay. coming now, Bruce. Yeah. There we go. There's the link. Paul says, thingy. yeah, so next week then, guys, it will be a Woodland Camper Craft live chat with Prep Nomad. So That's what I'm going to ask, I've never asked this before, never asked this, but... Let's let's get it shared about as well. Um, it's been great with uh, everyone in the side chat and all the viewers tonight. We'd like to say we broke the record at uh, forty-five viewers we had at one point, which is which is smashed it by eight. Um, so yeah, if you don't mind sharing about if any of you are in the groups or social media and your Instagrams, if you wouldn't mind um, just sharing it about. I, what I'm going to do. Um, is I'm going to create an event very shortly after this uh, chat ends and then people will share it about. And then even though if you're a Gareth and Zoe fan, they, although they might not be on screen next week, they're normally in the side chat just as you are today. Um, and it'll be the same yeah, for Wild Bruce. Right. Fans, Prep yeah, Nomad fans. Yeah, sorry. If anyone wants to come back um, next week, like I say, we're on every week. So if anyone's got any questions, I just want to... Always, we're always about in the side chat, so definitely come back. Um, good. Yeah, so that's it then, guys. We're going to end it there. Give me time before I go to bed to uh, um, create this next event for uh, next week with Paul. Massive, massive thank you to Gareth and Zoe for coming on. It's been a pleasure, mate. And, yeah, uh, and thank yeah. you to everyone in the side chat. Um, and thank you to all the support you're giving Kev at the minute. And like I say, if you're not subscribed, then... Could you say that any more times? <laughs> get yourself subscribed. You've got to plug yeah. it, you know? You've got to plug it. And yes, for everyone, if you're not really interested in the chats for when Gareth and Zoe are not on, um, I'm sure you'll see them again in the next coming weeks. So, yeah, keep you posted. So, good night, everybody, and we are out.